Welcome to another Fast Tips video brought to you by ExcelLearningZone.com. I am your instructor, Richard Rost. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to perform a double lookup using XLOOKUP, requiring multiple criteria in Microsoft Excel. This question comes up from time to time, and I know I've covered this in various forms throughout my different courses uh, using multiple different techniques. And yeah, you can use index and match, and you can use array formulas, and there's all kinds of crazy ways you can do this. But I'm going to show you a quick trick to do a double lookup. In other words, you want to look up the sales based on the values in two other columns, for example, the state and city. And yes, I actually looked up a list of cities. There are like eight states that have cities named Buffalo. That's interesting. Anyways, and Rochester as well. So let's say you want to look up the sales from Buffalo, but which Buffalo? Buffalo, Illinois, Buffalo, Texas, okay? So you have to do a double lookup. And like I said, yeah, you can use all kinds of other crazy techniques, but here's the easiest solution. The easiest solution is to use what's called a helper column. It's a column that puts together those other two columns and basically gives you a unique result. Now, this assumes that there's only one combination for every item in column A there's only one item in column B that's the same, you know, matches with it. So that if you put them all together, you get a unique combination. If you've got Buffalo, New York showing up twice in this list, then this technique won't work. But assuming these are all unique, here's what we can do. Let's insert a column right here. We'll call this my helper column. Okay. Now right here, we'll use a little string concatenation to put together state and city. And I like to separate them with some character that probably will never appear between them, like the pipe symbol or a, a carrot symbol or something. So we're going to go equals A2 ampersand for string concatenation, right? And then inside of quotes, I'm going to put that guy, the little pipe symbol that's over next to the enter key on most keyboards, okay? Or whatever character you want in there. It's just something that won't show up in the other two fields, okay? And then ampersand again, and then B2. And that's what it ends up looking like. Then we'll autofill this guy down. Okay, so there's our unique combination of column A and column B. Now, this is an easy value to look up, and you can hide this column if you want to later on. You don't have to see that. Okay, but if I come over here now, and I want the user to be able to type in the state, right, and then the city, and then get the sales. Okay, so we could type in, let's say, New York, and we'll type in Rochester. Okay, and then right here, I want to look up the sales for Rochester, New York. So I'm basically looking up the helper column. So let's put that right here, right? Let's build it again. Helper is going to be equals, and it's going to be that, and my little pipe symbol, and that. Okay, so now I got my value that I'm actually looking up. Okay, and now I can use my X lookup or V lookup if you want. If you're old school, you want to go to V lookup, you'll just have to put your helper column in the front because V lookup, you can only look up to the right. Whereas with X lookup, you can look up anywhere in that table. I like X lookup better. And if you don't have X lookup, if you got an older version of Excel, this is a good time to upgrade. Okay. X lookup is available in an Office 365 subscription, and I got a video teaching you how to use it right there, just like V lookup. Very similar. I'll put a link to that video down below. You can click on it to go watch that. All right, so it's going to be equals X lookup. What is my lookup value? That guy, right? That's what I'm looking up, comma. Where's the lookup array? In other words, where's the range of stuff you're looking up the, that value in? Well, it's right there, okay, comma. What's the return array? In other words, where's the list of stuff you want to bring back? Well, that's right next to it here. That's the benefit of X lookup is you can go left and right, okay? And then enter. And there you go. There's Rochester, New York's sales. I guess in this case, you could use VLOOKUP because the return value is to the right of our help, helper column. So we could, we could go VLOOKUP here. We could say equals VLOOKUP. And then the lookup value, again, is our helper value, comma. The table array is this whole thing now. All right, it's a little bit different in VLOOKUP comma, which column of that table do you want to return? Well, that's column two. And for this one, make sure you got to specify exact match. Okay. And when you do all that, you should get the same value. And there you go. So there you go. There's your fast tip for today. Craig, this video goes out to you. Hope this helps you, buddy.
And for the rest of you, if you're not familiar with the rest of my videos, most of what I do is Microsoft Access. I love Excel, but Access is my forte. So next up, I'm going to show you how to do the same thing using a double lookup, a double D lookup in Microsoft Access. Okay, there's that. Same thing in Access using DLOOKUP. There will be a link down below. You can go click on that if you want to learn how to do this in Microsoft Access. But that is your Excel fast tip for the day. I hope you learned something. I'll see you next time. So that's it. Want to learn more Excel? Be sure to like this video and subscribe to my channel. Stop by my website to watch my free Excel Level 1 course. It's over 90 minutes long and it covers all the basics. And if you want me to post more Excel videos, I need to hear from you. About 90% of what I do is Microsoft Access, but I'm also a published Excel author, and I love Excel. So if you want to see me post more free Excel videos, post a comment below and let me know. Say, hey, I want more Excel.